Today, we are going to be doing a picture of a flower. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First thing that you want to draw with your flower is to draw a stem. So take two small lines from about the centre of the page and draw them down to the bottom. What we're going to do now is we're going to do an outline, very, very faintly do an outline. You just want to hold your pencil like right at the end of the pencil so you're just touching the paper. See? You need to put a small circle for the center of your flower. So I'm going to place mine about there. So we're just a little off center towards the bottom. Okay. So from here, now that you've got that, you want to draw a petal. Petals kind of come out from the center and then they fan out on the particular flower they do. One petal. Okay, so come up the top and do the corresponding petal and try and make it similar sized. Now what it seems like you're probably doing is making a pedestal pan. That's kind of what you're doing if you think about it. Because that is what fans look like. Central point and fins radiating out. But these are not fins, these are petals. I think I'm in front of the camera a little bit just to get this angle right. So now that you've done the set of first petals, you can do there's lots of spaces here and here, here. You probably want to fill those in with extra petals. Now to do that, you can kind of just come out from either side and just join them together like that. Or you can actually come up, join them together like that. Whichever way you feel like you should. This way it doesn't look like there's big empty spaces in between the petals, which would look unusual. Unless I guess it's a little like a gerber or something maybe. Now that you have done all of your petals, you might want to do a leaf. Bring the leaf up here. Let's just get in a little. And the reason you do that is because it doesn't come out the side, like it juts out the side. It really kind of leaves like part of the flower. So you have to show where it's going from. It's just too much about it looking perfect because we're going to line it anyway. Now, just to make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to line it with a regular ballpoint pen. Because I want to be able to do art that everyone can do. You don't need a special liner pen, just a regular ballpoint will do it. So, make your regular ballpoint pen. You want to move quickly when you line something. What artists normally say is they say line with confidence. Just always pretend like you meant to do it that way. You meant to have it a little wobbly near the top here. So it's the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to turn this slightly just to make this a little easier on myself. You will also need to erase any leftover lines. You can use any eraser to do that. Take yourself some coloured pencils. You need some green. Let's pull out a few green colours. This is for the petal and the leaves. You probably want between three to four colours. So I'm going to pull out a few different greens. So we could go for a yellow to a light orange. So if I get this color, probably want that to be yeah, just a light brown color. Let's do it. Something that I learned only recently. Just don't press too hard with your pencils. 
can just press softly, leave a little color. I probably want to mix that with something because that's pretty boring on its own. I'm going to put a bit of orange in there. Brighten it up a bit. Like so. All done. The flower itself we will leave to last because I'm going to do the green on the stem. Stain on the stem. I'm going to use these two dark colours. I like shading. I think the pencil nearly on its side. Shade in the stem. It's slow. There's no rush. Well, there's a rush for me because the longer I feel, the longer I have to edit. But there's no rush for you. Take your time. Add a bit of a shadow here and shade a bit on this side. So, mix a bit on that side. And you've got two colours in there. I'm going to add a bit of a highlight. Take the light green. It's just strange. As soon as you take three colours and lay them over the top of each other, you suddenly end up with this really, really good looking kind of motley green. It looks a bit more realistic because if you think about it, leaves and trees. Yeah. Branches on the one one colour. I'm going to start from the centre and um, put a little bit of the green in the middle. So what I want to do, which you may not be able to see in the yellow, nope, I'm trying to do a bit in the orange because it doesn't matter. So I kind of want each petal to have this pattern of colour on it. So you think about it, it's kind of like this. With each of the colours forming each of these. Nice touch. Yeah, let's just be a bit weird about this. Probably should have started with that there, but I'm gonna go yellow into this orange. Okay. I like this orange in particular. It is 14. Ah, 14. Oh, not an R. Like R, like a pirate. R, me 14. She is a, such a lovely colour. Ah, I went orange there for a second. Uh, but that's okay. Your yellow color and just spend some time on the yellow light. Now, what I wanted to show you is I haven't really blended any of this. All I've done is just lay down the colour, striped it, no blending. 
This is the only one that's really blended. And I'm not even finished with this one yet. So, what you want to do, you want to take your three colors, boom, 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 and you just keep going. Using your three colors, you just keep layering. So, next one to layer is this orange. I'm going to literally come like right up into this yellow, nearly touching the one at the top. Now I've done all of the orange, take out the deep orange, do the same thing but come down into this. So No, it's a bit not least. Grab your yellow and just Yeah, it looks like there's like points where it's almost white, but that's covered. Let's get yellow on it, and you just end up with this cool effect of layers of color. Just here, it looks too light. So you can have a bit more yellow there. There you go. Wrap it there, and just kind of look and see what you need to do a bit more color. But it's done. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely afternoon. See you next time.